I never thought in a million years I would sit down in front of a camera and vent to you guys about personal stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to talk about. A picture of us rolling in a roach, yeah. Pull the curtains back, go kosher. Yeah. Make me feel some type of way. Got me changing on my play always, eh? Yeah. Every time you slide through, go crazy. You give me. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome my name is kathy well today's video is going to be about what you see on my title um a chit chat video i never did anything like this in my life i never thought in a million years i would sit down in front of a camera and vent to you guys about personal stuff it takes a strong person to really get on camera and talk to strangers about their personal life i sit there and i'm like i would never do such thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing i don't have that urge to do so up until now yeah so we're gonna do a chit chat i'm not gonna tell you guys the products that i'm using because it's not a tutorial it's a get ready with me yeah guys it's literally to be one o'clock in the morning i don't know if you guys can see it so bright why is that okay wow <laughs> i'm really gonna be talking to you guys about this it all started fall of 2019 well, i already like prepped my face or whatever so i'm just gonna go in with my foundation oh my gosh this is so hard to talk about <laughs> so yeah it all started to a uh, fall 2019 um Before school started, my house had caught on fire twice. Yeah. Last year was the first time, I mean, last year was the second time that my house was caught on fire and like it was such a, I wasn't really shocked. I was just like, damn again you know what i'm saying like the first time my house was caught on fire it was probably like 10 11 years ago on my birthday um so the fact that it was caught on fire again it was just like it took a toll out of me it did because i was just like damn like we gotta go through this again I don't know why I'm going with this, but yeah, my house was kind of fire and it took a big toll out of me. Mind you, I was so embarrassed to tell anybody. Like I didn't tell literally nobody. Well, I told like my closest friends or whatever, but I didn't tell you guys. I didn't tell none of my um, followers. I really, it was just a selected few of people that I told because I was just like so embarrassed. Ooh, houses be getting caught on fire. Like it's really rare for a house to get caught on fire. Honestly, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but your house getting on fire twice, like that don't happen. It's so embarrassing because like my neighbors were looking at us like, dang, again, like, are you guys okay in there or something like that? Like a lot, I felt like a lot of people thought like we were just not responsible and that just was not the case mind you guys i was it was like my third semester at um my school that i attend to that semester was just ridiculous like since my house was caught on fire i had to we had to like leave this house like it was also it was this house that was caught on fire so we had to leave this house and go somewhere else i was not in a comfortable spot at all i had school to attend to a full-time student i was getting inducted i got inducted to alpha kappa psi that is my fraternity all that in one little old semester 
So it definitely took a big hit on me and it also affected my grades. This is my first time doing a chit chat. So this is like really scary. Sorry guys. All that was happening all in one little old semester and it was too much. And my grades, my grades were dropping, which is so weird because I always, I always get good grades in school. Knowing all that that's happening, when I was getting inducted to my fraternity, it was literally too much for me, so I had to quit my job. Um, I was working at a eating disorder, and I actually really liked my job. Like, I loved my job. Where am I going with this? <laughs> that's not the point. But yeah, I had quit my job, so my house was caught on fire. I didn't have a job. I was pledging and my grades was dropping. Um, But you know, I was still was like, you know what? That's fine, you know, I'm gonna keep going and stuff like that. So spring comes around. Where am I cat? Like, you need to talk faster, period. <laughs> so yeah, spring comes around and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just like go back to school and just do better with my schooling and stuff, really have anything that's gonna stop me from getting a bad grade or whatever. And I was like, you know what? We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going, striving, blossoming, all that. You know, it's a new year. Everybody has their new year resolution. So, you know, positivity or whatnot. And that's what I was doing. Guys, my makeup not even gonna be like that good because I just want to kind of like give y'all something to watch. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to give y'all something to watch. You, I, I literally just told you guys that I didn't have a job. So the beginning of the year was already trash because I was so broke. I didn't have a job. Money was leaving more than it was coming in my bank account. At the time, I was just like, you know what? I might as well just start doing makeup because I didn't want to kind of like work for people or whatever. I just kind of took that opportunity to start my business again. I was a makeup artist two years ago and then I stopped and then I was like, you know what, I might as well just go back. You know, I wanted to pursue my passion for makeup. We all know that I really made it happen. It was not an easy thing because I literally like I'm literally just telling you guys that I didn't have no money coming in my account so I had to use all the crumbs <laughs> like literally everything that I had to um I look really light I don't know why But yeah, I had to take all the crumbs from my bank account to in order for me to get my shop or whatever, like my suite. But thank God, with the help of my sister and um, my big, my big was able to find me a place and stuff like that. Um, I was able to get my shop, thankfully. And obviously I had a lot of work to do i had to do i had to go through a lot of um decoration and stuff like you know making sure that my shop looked really good i had to spend so much money on new makeup new brushes literally everything and this is why i'm still going to school like i'm still a full-time student in school and my classes were already hard like classes were getting so hard and i made the biggest mistake to take two hard class i had like these two hard classes i was telling my friend she was just like damn girl why would you take those two classes those classes are hard so why would you take both of those classes together i was already slacking 
with my classes. Mind you, <laughs> you all, it feels like I'm drunk right now. I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. Hey guys, so I know I look completely different from the video that you were watching previously. I lost everything that I was saying before, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna film it again or whatever. Spring semester, well, a little bit of fall and spring, I was talking to somebody. It didn't work out and that took a big toll on me and stuff like that. Um, and it shouldn't have, but it did. But yeah, I'm not gonna go in details about all that because I really don't wanna talk about it. It sucks to wake up and like you ever had like going through stuff and then like you wake up and then you just start thinking about everything. Like I just hate waking up and something is bothering me and my mind is just like floating off. Ooh, <clears throat> sorry guys. My mind is like floating all over the place. <sighs> It's so depressing. Like it's so unhealthy to wake up and not be at peace. It's just like a rush of a feeling. My drive is just negative zero right now. Like it's just not there really. Every time I look at it and I'm just like, damn girl, you at 48 now. Like you was just at 50, but it's whatever at this point. Um, let's like talk to you guys about what I've been going through and stuff like that and like my mental health. Y'all, y'all really need to focus more on your mental health and take care of yourself. If you have to stay off social media for a week, do so. And that's something that I I try to do. Um, but it's really hard for me because, you know, I have to like promote for some time. It's really hard for me to like go ghost on social media completely, but... <laughs> But yeah, guys, I don't want y'all to think like my life is chaotic or whatever or in shambles because I've definitely got a lot of great things um, during the midst of everything. I haven't really told you guys yet because like, I don't know, I'm more of like a humble type of person and I don't know, but I will tell you guys very soon or not. But I would tell you guys one thing is I am working on my own brand. I'm so excited. Every time I think about it, I just get so happy and I just get so like good energy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I am working on my second business. Y'all know I'm a makeup artist, so that's my first business. Like we already know, we already know on my second business and i i will be you know putting more videos about that soon i think i should post it very soon but yeah i'm working on my new brand and i really need y'all to like support me because i feel like that is something that would definitely help me to you know get that motivation and that drive back you know what i'm saying Okay guys, so I totally forgot the main part of this video. Um, I just wanted to post this video overall just so that, just cause I'm like a influencer, what? Cat. <laughs> influencer whatever, or I have this sort of followers or whatever you guys think, we don't go through our stuff too. And I'm a human being at the end of the day, like I'm not perfect. I go through a lot of stuff as well to kind of show you guys behind the scenes it's not always a smiley face and i'm not always happy and stuff like that but you know i wanted you guys to see me at my lowest situations whenever i do reach to where i want to be that you guys could always be like dang like i remember when she posted this video of what she was going through and stuff like that and you know just something that i could look back something that everybody could look back and just be like tbt okay <laughs> Yeah, that's really like the main reason why I wanted to post this video and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, this is the end of this video. Um, like I said, again, I never thought I would sit here and post my personal life and stuff like that. Like, I never thought I would sit here and just vent to you guys, honestly, because I don't really like people in my business or whatever. 
I really hope you guys like it. You know, it wasn't nothing um, entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I pray that everyone is staying safe, um, being positive, take care of your mental health. Um, anything negative in your life, you need to throw that in the trash, you know, throw it in the garbage, and don't ever look for it ever again. Um, all that negativity get rid of it you only need positive vibes only definitely gonna work so much harder i'm gonna pray about it my new business is coming out so i need you guys to go mad crazy like i need y'all to go mad crazy um so yeah guys peace out